Hi everyone, so as you already know, a new case has been released for Counter-Strike Global Offensive game, this is Gamma case, and it offers new skins for weapons and few new skins for knives, but personally I've been already waiting for a new knife to be released, and I know you guys are also thrilled to find out what's gonna be the new knife, and I know it's gonna be released with new operation case, and I have no idea when it's gonna happen, but uh, you know why I decided to make this video, because all previous knives, well except perhaps for butterfly knife, but uh, all the knives added with operation cases, they, mm, like, not necessarily disappointed in me, but they definitely lacked the needed charisma for the game. Like, uh, Shadow Daggers or like Falcon Knives, they look, um, you know, so-so. And, uh, I don't know, like, they seem to be not very popular within the game. So I decided, why not to propose Valve a new knife, something can possibly be added to the game and I decided well let's make a video on it because I believe this knife is a perfect candidate and I'm gonna explain you why first of all let's look at this guy look at how scary it looks look at the real charisma of this knife I believe you cannot argue that this knife like lack any charisma because I barely touched it and you're gonna see that I already cut myself but anyway yeah you see it but anyways, uh, look look how scary and awful it looks. Uh, the blade is fully serrated one, so it's designed to rip through anything it touches. And I can barely touch my finger right now, and it's gonna leave it's gonna leave a little hole on it, and it's gonna get yeah. See, blood already comes out. But uh, the thing that why why I believe it's a perfect candidate. This is a spider cut knife, spider cut civilian knife. It's already a legend among the knife community because it's a already discontinued knife. You can find it only on eBay for like 100 or 200 bucks for this knife. And the older version with a different handle can cost you up to like $600. And uh, it's been designed in 1990s as a special request from special operation agents. So they ask spider to release a new knife specifically for them, for them, like for undercover agents or special operation agents. The idea is like, when you don't have uh, weapons or you're out of armor, so the idea that this knife is supposed to save your life. And um, look at this shape, it's uh, technically it's, uh, can be classified as, I mean defined as a karambit knife, but it definitely has its unique, uh, unique blade shape, they call it a reverse S shape, and among the knife community this knife is known as uh, the nasty one or the knife of the last resort, and it has uh, a couple of different names, but what's especially interesting about this knife and why what it makes a perfect uh, perfect candidate for the game because it was originally designed for the special operations for special operations unit but because this knife looks so freaking scary often in the movies it's portrayed as a knife of bad guys so in many many different movies and I'll show you the pictures this knife is used as a weapon yeah, of the villains and again look uh, it has a pretty simple construction it's a back, back lock and uh, just one liner and uh, pretty much that's it you know it's gonna be really easy to implement it in the, in, in the game and I use a lanyard specifically to show you tricks and I'm gonna show you the tricks in a, in a little bit uh, what you can do with this knife and actually you can do the same tricks with any knife which has a hole for the lanyard in it and the thing that uh, I would actually advise you not to repeat it at home with anything that has serration with any serrated blade because you can easily chop off your finger with this guy uh, so I tried to do it I mean I started to do in these tricks with the different knives with the plain edge like with the red Ontario red and uh, I was not careful and I hit my si myself a few times but if you're gonna hit yourself with this knife you can lose your finger like really really easily so be careful and not to rep not repeat it at home what I'm gonna show you but um, I hope I hope you can see I hope you can see why this knife can uh, should be in the game I mean not should be in the game but I would be really happy if it would make to, to the game because I hope you share the same level of uh, enthusiasm and excitement when you see this blade and when you see this knife but just just look at it I mean look what can be done with it I'm gonna show you in a little bit 
it's uh, just wow, wow. Like seriously, when you take it in, in your hands, you, you, you feel, you feel it's like very, very special. It's not a utility knife. You cannot, you can do like really little things as a for utility knife. It's really designed to do something nasty with it. So, and the thing that uh, because it's being uh, portrayed as a knife of civilian, I, I mean, as a knife of uh, bad, bad guys, civilians, and it was designed actually for law enforcement. I think it's like perfect candidate to be portrayed as a game as a knife for terrorist and counter terrorist. So, yeah, I hope while we're gonna see this video and I decide to implement this knife and I decided to show you the possible opening operation I mean a possible open unfolding animation for this knife and I think it's like uh, probably the best possible animation for the game so if you guys really like it too as much as I do and you want you want to see this knife in the game just vote for it and uh, nothing is impossible I know that while well, it does not accept models but maybe they're gonna see this video and uh, decide to implement this knife in the game that would be so freaking awesome and I hope you think the same alright guys thanks for watching and I hope you had fun and uh, enjoy the rest of the day bye